How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We're here in my office slash music room, and at the moment, I'm filming this intro because I forgot to film an intro for the video you're watching now. I had planned on it being part of the first one, but ended up being too long. So, let's get right into the video. All right, everybody, here we are at the dealership. So, I'm standing in front of my Hellcat and hopefully my TRX. You ready? One, two, three. There we go. Check that out. Look at the size difference. Look at how little the freaking boat of a Hellcat looks next to the Ram TRX. It is awesome. And you know what? Yes, I do have the key. I didn't necessarily pay for everything yet and whatnot, but here it is. Here is the TRX. Looks amazing. So I ordered it this way. I've got the regular black wheels. I didn't want the bead locks. And I got rid of the graphics package. I wanted a much, as much of this color to stick out as possible. So you sit, check out up here. You don't have any of that black, the TRX stuff. And my plan is hopefully to put right over here or right over here, the little TRX badge that you can get online. Yeah, we gotta back this camera out. So that was that one time zoom. Now I have to go to half time zoom. I ordered it with the Ram bar, the bed lining, all nice and good. It's got these step outs. I've gotta figure out how to pull those down. Let's see, does it have the soft close or soft open? Yep, has a soft open. And then I actually ordered the sliding tray system. So it's like a trunk for the back. So it's like sliding for the, oh, what's this? What are you doing in there? It's my little girl. So she's loving this truck so far, but look at this, look at this view. I mean, backing up over here, dude, that's just insane. The bottom of the, the or the top of the door, I guess, is above, <laughs> above, the Hellcat. It is just totally, totally incredible. I'm loving these corner marker lights. Look at this interior. I'm going to do a full review later on down the road and whatnot, but I'm just loving all these little, little details. Oh, she can see me. Uh-oh, we got to go hide. You know, I'm loving... I love cup holders. This thing is cup holders galore. Plenty, plenty, plenty of cup holders. You know, in the back, it's got some. Love these. Looks like it'll hold, uh, you know, some ammo. Got these. Some of these guys in here. The house thing. USB, micro USB or USB-C, whatever the hell they call them. USBs. This floor, the, the seat folds up nicely. And there's still a good amount of space in here. And if I recall, this folds out too. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. And all this pulls down. More cup holders. More cup holders. And I had to order it with the panoramic sunroof. I am not much of a sunroof person, but you that, that's huge the glass is just gorgeous and this just this i love this color the ram bar ram bar i'm gonna say it again did i say it yet but ram bar ram bar i'm gonna put some lights on the top front and back go from that and i love love the look of these tail lights and then i'm also gonna do side pipes i want to get some nice side pipes right over here and i think that's gonna look awesome you know, it doesn't have too much spacing. I've got the tips that I'm going to pull off the back of the Hellcat. And hopefully they fit right in this area here. And I think it's going to be awesome. And I looked it up. I haven't found anyone that's done it yet. I haven't found a single person. But, no, it's all right. <laughs> that's Bill, uh, Bill, Brian. He's the one that's actually selling me the truck. And I just can't wait. And, you know, people say you need to go bigger on the tires. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I perfectly, 
I'm perfectly happy with the tires that are on it right now. Oh, she's watching us. She's watching us. She's watching us. <laughs> so, she's hiding from us. But just look at this. Look at this. These floor mats. It awesome. And it right up underneath. I gotta learn how to use this camera. Got some storage. There's drain plugs in there, I think. I think you can use it for cold storage. Got some tie downs. Another cup holder. Look at these. Look at this. This wood. I love that black wood in there. It looks amazing. Gotta push a little harder to close the door. Look at this thing. Time to hop in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. Love that shifter. The double den right there. Got the TRX, the T-Rex in there next to the Raptor and the truck. Coin holders. Look at that. And I did order mine with the trailer system. So you can, you know, left, right, trailer steering assist. That I mainly got for the wife. And then, let's see, now I gotta hop down because the truck is still <laughs> pretty darn tall. I'm gonna pop the hood, come over and take a look at underneath here. Now I'm gonna go with the B Woody intake just like I did on the other one. Look at that nostril, look at those lights. So all this is eventually gonna go away. The B Woody intake sits right over here. It comes up and over the top. Just look at all that space. So much room for activities. And this is amazing. And you know, I've had the Hellcat for going on seven years now. So I'm very used to this powertrain. I like the, the airflow hood right up in there. Looks really good. It's really nice. And this just color is amazing. And there's something about when you order your own vehicle, you know, it is something special. And they haven't said I could start the truck yet, so I'm not going to. But when I get the opportunity to do that, I will. But look at how wide those tires are. That is awesome. So I'll be checking back with you guys in a few minutes. It's not exactly a cold start, but it still sounds nice. Not as nice as the health cap, but again, that's no mufflers or whatnot. And we're probably gonna do the same thing with that. I wanna do the side pipes. Now, do I leave the tips back here for the looks? Or do I just put them out the sides, get rid of the back and people are like, hey, where's the exhaust? Start couple checking the sides and there they are, they're off to the side. I don't know, we got a bunch of different things. I love, love, love these hips. Love these body lines, the wide body is so so incredibly awesome now i can't wait to hear this thing moving sorry my face my little daughter found the window open button oh, it's a nice little climb up in there here and then look at this look at this view look at this view absolutely amazing and you can hear it in here as well but it is overall just a quiet quiet system alpine radio which i actually love alpine system i am a huge alpine fan i have alpine in several of my vehicle vehicles so yeah, the pedals closer and further they actually feel pretty good now i was messing with this off camera a minute ago so i hit the trx mode let's see what happens so they have uh sport and if you look the screen does a little bit of a action you do tow mode it's got a trailer behind it snow mode there's some snow on there custom <laughs> a little bit of everything mud sand that's definitely mud and sand. Rock. Doesn't show me that because it wants me to go into four-wheel drive for that. 
Uh, Baja. Let me guess. Oh, some, some more sand. Then auto. What is auto going to do? But just a truck on the pavement. But still looks way cool. I love, love this screen. It's very responsive. All that stuff's right there. And there are people that complain about needing, like, buttons for things. But I'm, I've gotten so used to it with the Hellcat. It's just like, touchscreen, yeah, up, bottom, vent. You know, you can hit some of those things up here. Temperature, up, down, just tap it. And then I believe you also have um, sync. Yeah, so both sides will be together. Got heated seats. Doesn't seem that we have any cooled seats. So AC, the front rear defogger, and off. On, you got the recirculation. Here's the media system. And the screen is actually very, very responsive. Navigation, that's just absolutely incredible. That's huge, huge in there. The vehicle, you got the rear dimmer rear view camera look at that look at that that is absolutely incredible that i can just do that whenever the heck i want love it love love that settings i will play with all this stuff later you know, my profile display mode manual brightness set theme units category navigation terminate and cluster heads up display time for it wake up word off command list looks like there's a bunch of things in here more profile options driver name avatar profile link right for tutorials so there's it looks like there's a ton of stuff in here and then back to home oh, that's cool you can go to full screen on that go back to home you got your um Navigation up here, your radio down in here. Oh, nice. Two, you can just slide to two pages. So it's got two pages, not three. You know, the mute button. Oh, and you got your climate stuff here too. So there are some climate buttons, just like the heated seat and whatnot doesn't have one. But I'm okay with that, you know. Up, down, up, down. Mode. I can check the different change the modes then over in here on the steering wheel what does this do kilometers per hour diagnostic codes screen setup no start metrics distance drivetrain steering angle wheel art that's cool so so far that's an interior view of the the trx Let's just just hope to God I can make this work. And I think I'm going to be able to. All didn't be with me. Well, I think that's going to be today's video. And what we will do is, if we can make this all work, the next video will hopefully be me driving her home. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Be well. Stay safe.